Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mushoku Tensei part 2 episode number 12 and this is the final episode of this part. Um, okay one thing I actually realized I've been doing wrong all along. <laughs> I've been referring to this show as season 2 which obviously it's not it's part 2 of season 1 and I think I've also like you know all the titles I've given us like season 2 or something I'll, I'll probably change them and like you know i realized that quite late almost at the end of the season and uh, end of this part i realized that yeah this is not season two this is actually part two <laughs> so yeah anyways um okay so the previous episode um we we reached fitoa region uh we reached uh rudy's house and as we see like you know everything's just blown away and nothing's left like it, it's it's not even recognizable and rudy kind of like you know goes like you know kind of goes to the places that he has always been a little like you know like reminiscing about stuff and all and uh Rijet goes away uh obviously because it has, his duty was to uh only you know transport them up up till here and now i'm sure he himself will try his best to actually uh improve his own reputation um maybe we'll meet him in the future as he said like you know until we meet again so i'm guessing probably in the future we will meet again someday at least so yeah that was that and then we go back to the the original you know the, the central part where eris lived and eris also finds out like what happened the shocking thing here is that his mom and dad is also dead and it has been confirmed it's, it's not even like yeah they might be dead or they might not it's not like that it's confirmed Ghislaine went and confirmed it which was something I was not expecting. I only I, like you know I only thought that Soros has died and they are missing. While suddenly in the previous episode they revealed that yeah they are also not alive. So Eris basically lost everyone. Um. So yeah, and Ghislaine is back. That's one good thing. Mm, and then we get a little conversation. The whole thing with you know uh, I don't remember the guy's name. Oh, I think it's called Pylmon or something. Him telling uh, Eris to be his concubine, all that stuff, and you know like stuff was happening. And then uh, <laughs> in the end, like Eris kind of you know um, because fifteen years old, he she promised Rudy. <laughs> um, that happens and um in the morning rudy was like oh what a happy day let's go see eris again and bam eris is gone with a letter left in the letter she says that we like you know like i'm not read i think so. yeah we are not uh, properly matched up enough so i'm going to go on a journey which obviously rudy took in a very um negative way he thought that eris has dumped him which i don't think that was the case i think eris basically went away because uh she needed to be stronger she wanted to be stronger she uh, like her taking the lane with her actually proves that like she actually wants to be this is probably her training arc or something and the whole thing with austin probably is something that's really um, bothering her all along and seeing how everyone is dead, she realizes that she needs to be more stronger so that if someday Ostet comes again, um, she will not be helpless. She'll be able to save Rudy, unlike that time. Because Rudy, is, Rudy and Ghislaine are like the only family member that she has left. So most probably, like, you know, I think that's why she actually went away. But the way she wrote the letter, it is it, very misleading, at least for Rudy. Uh, and Rudy's like, yeah like i'm all alone and she just started crying that was sad like you know like seeing rudy cry like that my god i don't know what they'll what he'll he'll do now like he, he like there's just no one left beside her, him no one literally no one like no acquaintances no one so i don't know what he's going to do from here onwards let's see so yeah anyways without further ado let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's start all right here's the countdown three Two, one, go. What? Oh. Oh, is this a dream? I think so. No, no, it's not a dream, it's killing. Okay. Okay. 
could have actually stole Rudy, you know, like. Oh my god. <sighs> well. Oh boy. Rudy will be depressed from here on. I was like, what will he even do? Like, it's no one that he could actually rely on. At least, like, you know, people are recovering from that disaster. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> well, there you go, rain. Nice for the crops, I guess. Oh boy. Oh, he, he's reverting back to his previous self, you know. They're all shut in and everything, my god. Was his previous life. Oh no. Yep, these guys are the bullies. Oh. Oh no, this starts from here. Oh my god. Healthy, friendly, happy. Yeah. God. Oh. Oh boy. Like, oh, these are his parents. Okay. Okay, he looks a lot more, like, you know, like slimmer than we saw, like, you know, in his, uh, you know, flashbacks and everything. This kind of shows that, you know, like, after this. Like, you know, this whole bullying thing started, he probably shut himself more and he became more... Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, he's reverting back, my god. I, re I really hope he... Who the... Oh, this guy. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> Digging wells, yeah, that's the Yeah. <sighs> Oh boy. <sighs> oh. 
Okay, that's good because that Philemon won't bother her after this, I guess. Hopefully. Yeah, and that as well. Like, if people suddenly know that she went away, like, it'll, it'll be like a negative. Hmm. Well, work or get out, yep. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, that we know, but Rudy has, you know, uh, he, he faced the same thing in his real world, so this is like a little drama. Oops, well, hmm. All right, there you go. Whoa. <laughs> And someday. <laughs> oh, this is Rizet. Oh, I thought it was Eris. <laughs> All right, nice. He's improving his reputation. Yeah, I'm a spirit. Well, everyone runs away then. <laughs> And that's probably, she thinks that there was probably, oh. Okay. Okay, no one's running away, good. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And after losing his parents, she realizes that even more, that she needs to do something about this. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, true, you know. <laughs> um that was poor wording there he says, I don't eat children, so... Hmm. Oh boy, but Rudy is depressed! What will you do about that? <laughs> Well, obviously, Eris wouldn't know, like, you know, what he went through in his past life, so... If she knew, I'm doub I doubt she'd do something like that. You know, like, in Eris's mind, Rudius is, like, this strong person who no never, like, you know, nothing happens. Oh! 
Your your master is <laughs> your master is depressed. Oh, this is a they're showing us everyone. Okay. <laughs> oh, these. <laughs> oh, she's also practicing. Okay. <laughs> I colored it. Nice. Wait, who? Oh, it's that guy. Um, uh, the guy we met in season one. <laughs> Yep, we met. Wow, it's completely reverted back to his. Oh no, this is his past. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the past. Ah, everyone's talking about him now. Oh, wait, they, wait, they're together? <laughs> they met in the middle of the journey, I guess. Ah! Kishirika, yeah, I forgot her name for a moment. Oh my god, this is a, the background. <laughs> Eleanor is up to... <laughs> Oh. I wonder where Roxy is now currently. Oh my. Oops. Uh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the same thing that Rudy said. <laughs> oh, that'll be good. This girl gives away demon eyes like it's some candy or something. <laughs> oh, okay, that's good. Come on. Come on, ask about Rudy. <laughs> Does she, does she remember? No, I don't think she remembers. <laughs> okay, all right, Roxy. Okay, so Roxy will get to know that. Wait, this is Paul. Oh, they're here. Nice. <laughs> okay, there you go. My god, Zenith is left still. Oh. Mm. Yeah, oh my god. Yep. Mm. 
Okay. But talk about Rudy. Oh, oh, come on. Where? Whoa, what the? Is that a trap? No, what is that? <coughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. Big Labyrinth City of Rapan. Alright. That's good. All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she just goes away. <laughs> uh. All right. So, where will Roxy? Bigger it. Okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, well. Hopefully. I really hope that. Yeah. But he wasn't able to take them. Yeah. Even the friend who came. Hmm. <sighs> oh, wait, what is this scene that they're sh showing us? Oh, Zenith. Wait, what? Oh, Is this Rudy's dream or is it Zen's dream? Hey. Is it Zen stream? I think so. Showing it from perspective of Zenith, so I guess it's Zenith stream.
No, no, it's wait. That was Rudy's dream. Okay, hopefully this makes him. Yeah. All right, there you go. Well, you won't make the past mistakes again. Wow, leaving behind his past self. Okay. Wow, wake up and take a step. <clears throat> okay, well, that's the end of this part episode 23 i think yeah so oh boy well so now we're going to try to find zenith out where she is and maybe meet people in on the way oh wait what is happening what is this Recruit. What? Mentor? Who is this? Who is that? This is a girl, isn't it? Wait a minute. No, any, any, any season two? Oh, oh God. I really hope they <laughs> make a season two quickly. <laughs> I think the light novel is ended, so there won't be any much problem of like, you know, like um, catching up to the source material. That's something. So hopefully they do it quickly. Wait a minute. Oh, who was that person? So that said, just a sec. That, tell me what your relationship to him is. He's my savior, my mentor, my friend. Oh, wait. Oh, this is, uh, this is Sylph. Uh, Sylphie, isn't it? Yeah, the years. This is an elf. So, Sylphie was an elf, wasn't she? No, not elf. Sorry, what the hell am I even saying? Um, half, half demon, I think? It's been a while we've met Sylphie. I actually forgot what, like, you know, what she is. She, she said that she was a half demon, wasn't she? Something like that, yeah. And yeah, she also had pointed ears. So the only thing that's different about her is her hair color, I feel like. It, it, was, it was green, yeah, it was green. My god, I completely, f <laughs> I completely forgot about how Sylphie looked like. I, I do remember, let me just. Sylphie. I think she, she had like a green colored hair with pointy ears. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Um, green colored hair with pointy ears and uh, yeah, that's Sylphie. Even her little cowlick, if you, I think you call that. Yeah. The thing in this head that also matches. That's Sylphie. And she says that she's he's my ment uh, savior, my mentor, and my friend. Yeah, that makes sense. Because obviously, who else would this be? Like, a person who is referring to Rudy as my savior, my mentor, and my friend. I don't feel like there's any other person than Sylphie who would mention him like that. Because the only person who, like, you know, taught her was Rudy. You know, the, you know, the incantationless magic, all that stuff that uh, he taught her. That was Rudy. And I feel like... The only person who Rudy has been mentoring is 
has been Ghislaine, obviously, but you know, like he, he was teaching her, and also Eris. But other than that, it was Sylphie. Yeah. Yeah, that's Sylphie. Obviously, that's Sylphie. And let me see, like, they does show her face. <coughs> Just a sec. Yeah, yeah, I think that is Sylphie. But what happened to her hair? It's, it's like a white color now. And who are these people? Like, the, the other girl says that I want to uh, recruit him or something. So, okay, so maybe, all right, so we actually get our answer. I was thinking like, maybe we'll also meet Sylphie on the way. But Sylphie, it looks like Sylphie is in this place. I not, don't know where this is, but somewhere, I guess. And uh, Rudy is looking for Zenith. So maybe, maybe they'll meet each other on the way. Anyways, okay, so, all right, that was this episode, episode number 12 of this part. And uh, here we, like, you know, like, from this episode, it it's so clear, you know, like, that everyone thinks of Rudy as, like, some person who is capable of doing anything. Like, you know, even Roxy, the way Roxy said that, um, oh, Rudy, like, I, I doubt anything can, like, you know, like, I'm sure he'll be able to get back. I'm a little bit concerned that he's depressed, but he can get back out of it. And... You know, this show how much everyone like you know thinks of Rudy as someone who can do like anything if he wants to, and like that is true for any human being. Like any human being can do anything if that person really has that drive and has that motivation. But for Rudy, at least, I think that it was a little bit of a uh, um what do you call it? A little bit of a. Uh, high expectation obviously because he has been like a victim of bullying all throughout but it also is something that he needed you know he needed uh, to get up on his own otherwise he like he would fall into depression in the future as well and that's not good so you know like people actually like you know roxy uh areas they're like saying that oh rudy rudy will definitely be able to get back up like that is in a way i think that also was something that rudy needed because this really shows us the contrast of how rudy is him like thinks of himself in his heart how he pictures himself you know that fat uh, like you know like uh, kid who like you know who's just shut in all along rejecting a, any help like you know having like a twisted personality that's how rudy person like you know sees himself while in Eris and Rox's eyes, Rudy is that this person who is just like you know who's just, who can just do anything and always like you know smiles, laughs, and looks like, very strong. That type of person. The contrast that we can see here, and it this was really needed. Like in this episode, as we see, Rudy himself gets up, gets out of that room, uh, uh, that tent. Sorry, uh, gets out of that tent and starts walking on his path. That was needed, and that will probably bring him closer. To the way the other people looks at him you know and his own vision is probably going to bring him closer to that person that everyone thinks that oh Rudy this is Rudy Rudy is capable smart strong that's Rudy while Rudy's own personal like you know feelings is like you know completely opposite so getting out of that tank wa walking his own path will probably bring him a little closer to the way everyone sees him to be and like that's the, the way everyone sees him to him be it's just basically a front that she, he puts in it's, it's just uh like you know a, a mask that he wears while in in the inside he's still that same person with like you know uh, uh no like what do you call it with with self uh no self-confidence you know and negativity all that stuff and like you know basically a victim of bullying that's that's the person that he is in his inside so he needs to change that little by little. This was probably the first step that he took to change it. Now, the first step that he took to change it was in season one when he gets out of his house, you know, alongside Roxy. And he's been taking little steps, little by little. He's been learning stuff and like, you know, and like, you know, there has been little setbacks and stuff. For example, this, in the previous episode, he got a major setback uh, after like, you know, Eris went on his, her own way. He, he he just like you know stopped moving at all but now you know after seeing like you know his new family remembering zenith he realized that no i i, I can't stop here i'll i'll start i'll start walking again and i won't make the same mistakes that i have been making all along 
uh, in my past life. So yeah. All right. Oh, okay. Another thing. Um, we have been seeing this uh, scene where there's like bubbles coming out, which I think was something that uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe Zenith is underwater or something. I don't know. Like you know, maybe th th that's something that was showing uh, like you know uh, what's happening to Zenith or something. Because when Kishinoka sees using her demon eyes, it feels like she's looking at a place underwater or something. And that bubble scene that's coming out, I'm not sure where Zenith is, but something must be going on. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, um, I'm guessing I'm hope hopefully they meet soon uh, because Zenith is the only one who's left to be rescued. Okay. All right, we do get a little bit of a flashback, uh, a recollection of what happened to him in his previous life. Um, I never thought that this was a, you know, Something the that he actually like, you know he got bullied because uh, he, him actually standing up for like you know people and it's sad like you know like these there will always be those three guys you know in every place those three bullies who will be just their own like you know what can I say pompous egotistical uh, like uh, you know brats who will just be like, you know try to mess with people all along showing off their power you know by like like you know hitting people ganging up on them there'll always be people like that everywhere there's like these type of people are there everywhere in this world and if if they like you know, and, and this this obviously happens a lot in schools colleges and all stuff like that it's more more what can i say um uh more prevalent there because you know there's like this whole hierarchy of like you know students like oh these these people these are the cool kids oh these people they're the moderate ones and they're, they're okay and these people they are basically the bully targets like that's that's basically a school hierarchy or a college hierarchy and like everywhere it happens and it's some places in some schools it's a lot more it's a lot more messed up and some places it's it's a, a lot tamer and some places it kind of doesn't exist it, it depends like here and there um like, as far as i've seen from like you know animes and stuff japan has this problem of bullying it's it's intense like um i don't know if there's any other country who has this amount of bullying like i've seen or maybe i don't know if, if anime exaggerates it or what I'm, I'm not sure about that but the, the the things that i've seen in like you know like in these um in animes how people bully others like you know like putting thumbtacks in their like you know shoes um throwing their things into the water pouring rotten milk you know um scribbling on their desks uh blackboards also you know like uh, pouring water over their head and if they're in the toilet or something like these things like i've seen messed up stuff and even more dangerous stuff than them like you know like pushing people and to, uh, over the staircase all that stuff like this is intense like like as i said like you know in every country there is some sort of bullying um thank god like, like you know like in in my place as well like at the, the schools that, that i have went to like there were also bullying but it was not obviously it was not this intense like but small little like you know like little uh what do you call it you know little stuff small little stuff which does not like you know like, require much attention and at least like you know the teachers helped and uh but here in like you know in, in animes as i've seen teachers doesn't care at all and even if they care, the students doesn't care. The students are like, ha, huh, the teacher is punishing me. What's, like, you know, it doesn't stop us. From next day onwards, we'll, like, you know, start the bullying all over again. And we'll just make it even worse. Uh, uh, not worse or worse. Sorry, what am I even saying? <laughs> so, yeah, like, that's, that's basically the, like, you know, like, as, as I've seen from anime, that's bullying. And I, I am not so sure if that's really how it happens. Or if they are exaggerating stuff, like anime, anime is exaggerated stuff. I've seen that. Like obviously, like anime. This is an anime. Obviously, it will exaggerate stuff. So I'm not sure if this is exaggerated or this is actually what happens. But this is messed up. Like you know, like 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 here we see like he's being like you know like like stripped and just I don't know tied to the gate. Like what the hell is that? Like this is like this is some criminal offense. Like the the kids should be arrested. Like what is this? Like I've never seen like this, um, 
like you know like intense bullying ever like oh my god like and just because he said to those guys like oh like you know like you've not you're, like, you know you're, you've not been taught that there is a line and you should wait for your turn like wow wild and yeah like that was basically it and obviously like you know like if, if something like that starts happening and we just see like he, he he was pretty like you know like he was not that chubby he was he was kind of he had like you know he was, he was like uh, he had meat in his like you know uh body like he he was a little a little healthy like that's not chubby that's healthy you know his um the way he looked but after he gets like you know in his room and shuts himself in he like you know like he becomes more uh like you know he he gains weight more and more and we can see like you know his beard is grown overgrown he doesn't like you know even look at people uh, like you know like interact with anyone um like you know always gaming and everything shutting him off to, uh, to the entire world and like you know being scared to actually go outside somewhere and yeah obviously like if, if people actually bullies you like that like i don't blame him and as i said like you know the teachers and all of them like like you you won't get any help from them at least from what i've seen in anime like even if someone tells the teachers the teachers will be like oh it's just playful teasing like, you know don't worry don't worry about that at all uh, while like you know like the, the playful teasing is them actually beating the crap out of that guy like that's basically it like that's how teachers as, as far as i've seen in anime that's how teachers actually act like and unless and until something drastic happens they are just like that so yeah it won't help it won't help and if, if like you know if, if you actually complain to the teacher the bullying will like you know be even more and that's something the victim will fear even worse so they usually don't tell anything to the other people because they know that it'll just get worse sir. like no good will come out of it and it'll just get worse and you know this this whole thing of so so what can i say bad like so bullying is one thing that's just just completely bad it should not even exist but anyways um yeah and we see him reverting back to his previous self and the butler comes in and he talks to him obviously and says that yeah do some work or just get out we don't have you know enough tent or food to feed you just while you're like you know sleeping there and we see little glimpses of all the other people uh rigid aries now here's the thing uh, I, I, like and i like that Ar rigid is actually you know clearing his name up little by little and that's good and everyone's going to talk about like oh asperd help me and that'll even improve his reputation even more and aries there you go like I'm, I'm sure a few people still had a little bit of confusion as to why aries left him you know and this episode should clear that out for every people because i've seen a people a few people in the comments like saying that oh like why did she leave him or like you know like uh yeah all that stuff like you know people misunderstanding but obviously that was not it like you should like, you know you should look deeper into the whole thing like aries actually felt like you know like that he she is useless we've always seen her inferiority complex all along you know like her actually Seeing that how Rudy is so amazing, while she actually, like you know, she, she has to struggle to do what she can, and like you know, there has always been that thing, and like this episode, as she said, that I've always been seeing Rudy as the person who can do anything, but suddenly seeing someone, like suddenly realizing that yeah, Rudy can actually die, actually opened my eyes, and like you know, after coming back to Fitoa, she also realized that people do die. You know her mom and dad like they're like death is something that's like far away from us like we can't like most people can't even imagine what a death of a loved one is like like you know unless and until it happens that was the whole thing with eris like she she realized after coming to fitor that yeah everyone's gone and someday rudy might also go through the same thing and if on that day i'm beside him and i'm unable to do something just like the austin situation i won't be able to forgive me ever and he re she realized that and she was like yeah i need to get stronger so that that day if a day comes when rudy really needs my help i'll save him and i won't let him die like that was the whole thing like it's just 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 her going out to train the way she actually told that to rudy and she expected that oh rudy's strong he can handle it that was a bit 
a bit um, something that she shouldn't have done, but obviously she wouldn't know that Rudy is like, you know, kind of has like inferiority complex. So she thought that, ah, oh, Rudy can handle it. But nah, that was not it. So like, you know, if, if she just went and told Rudy that, you know, like I, I need to go and train, like, you know, I'll be back after two or three years. Like, so, you know, like, I'll see you then. I think it would have been, Rudy would have been able to take it a lot more easier. But, and again, as I said, like, you know, he did need this shock. He did need this setback to start walking again. So in a way, it, it kind of, like, you know, hindered Rudy. And at the same time, it also pushed Rudy, you know, in the right direction. But it was a bit of a risky, like, you know, thing. Like, you know, like, if Rudy actually did not see Zenith's dream again, he probably would not st start back on his journey. He would just be sitting like, there, like, you know, rotting away. And that would have been a very bad thing. So it's good that he got the push in the right direction. Like this could have gone in either way. Either he could have just like, you know, just like, you know, like just stayed there rotting away or he would start walking the correct direction. He start wa started walking the correct direction in this episode, but it could have been the other one as well. That would have been very bad. But it's nice to see Rudy actually chose the right path and he decided to just start walking. And this, this became a positive impact for him. You know, like Ace actually going away. This actually set him in the right direction, and he also probably will start a little bit gaining a little bit of self confidence, not relying on others completely. Obviously, you should rely on people, but not completely. And he would know that after this, you know, he he'll realize that, and he'll start walking the right path again. So, like in a way, like everything positive happened by the end. And as I said that I love Rudy and that's why I'll I will definitely meet after a few years when I get strong enough to beat the dragon god and uh, Yeah, so that shows that obviously Eris will meet Rudy again And Rudy has his own job to do he finds Zenith and all the others as well Sylphie as well All right, and then we get a little scene of Roxy and you know Kishiruka <laughs> Kishuka's just wandering around here and there <laughs> and um, Roxy helped Kishuka. Kishuka's like should I give you a demon eye <laughs> and like I think Kishuka said something like how many eyes he, she has nine or seven something excuse me um nine or something like that I don't remember how many eyes she said that she had but it is quite a lot and but She's just giving them out like candy. She gave one to Rudy and she's like, ah, I'll give you one too. Like, what? <laughs> but yeah, anyways, she did say and Roxy's like, no, I don't need it. I just want like an information about someone. And yeah, she gives information to everyone who's fine and everything. But the person, like, you know, like that she wasn't able to actually see where she is, is Zenith. Like Zenith is like, it's like a weird thing that's going on around her and like a... You know, like not clear. Even she wasn't able to discern where Zenith is, but she was able to pinpoint the location. And it's good that Roxy will probably go there to help her out. And Rudy is also probably trying to go and find Zenith. I'm guessing Roxy will probably uh, go there first because she knows where the location is, which Rudy obviously does not know. So I'm guessing Roxy will probably reach faster than Rudy. But who knows? You know, uh, we'll see. Uh, we see Aisha going back to Paul, you know, and like, you know, little yeah, uh, Lorn is sad, obviously, because her mom, Zenith, has not been found. And, uh, yeah. And then we again see the Rudy, like, you know, flashback, and we see how Rudy, Rudy sees a vision of how, like, you know, everyone, like, like she got, he got a new family, he got a, got a chance to start over again. That's, like, something that no one gets. That's, like, a very lucky thing, like, like, just imagine how many people get a chance to start over again, it's to just, you know, like, realize that, yeah, these were my mistakes that I did. This time I won't be making them. It's, it's very rare. And Rudy got that rare chance of starting over again to make his life good again, uh, unlike his previous life. So, like, you know, if, if he actually, like, he, I'm sure he realized that if he actually stopped walking, that would have been a big, like, you know, like, like, you know, what can I say? That would have been a big um waste yeah a big waste of the new life that he got who which no one ever gets this is like this is like him winning the lottery he just won a lottery of starting over again and living the life that he wants to and he has everything now 
तो जस्ट लेटिंग इट लाइक यू नो वेस्ट अ वे इट विल बी अ बिग वेस्ट एंड ही लेकिन नो आफ्टर सींग हाउ लाइक नो लाइक द लिटिल सीन दैट ही सॉ एंड सींग हाउ जेन इट इज स्टिल लाइक नो सम वेयर देयर अलोंग he he got his um determination back he stood up and he left his past behind him you know that that scene was amazing like you know when he just walks out of the tent and there's like his past self standing behind him it's as if he he actually left his past self behind to start over anew and probably this time he'll start walking the like you know like walking in the forward direction and not stop wallowing in his past All right. Okay, I think that was it. Uh, oh, and then the last scene. Obviously, we see that scene. Uh, there was a few people there. You no, know? so there was a guy, three girls. No, not three, four girls. If you include Sylvie, I think that is Sylvie. Um, the blonde-haired girl. She says that. Oh, what is the relationship to him? And. I'm I'm going to call him her Silfy. I think that is Silfy. Uh, Silfy says that oh, it's so my mentor, my friend, you know, like, and all that stuff. And he says that okay, just a sec. Her voice changed completely. Obviously, she's an adult now. I guess he's the person I respect the most. So. So I'm get, so what the hell is happening now? So that means Rudy is trying to find Zenith and probably Sylphie on the way. Sylphie and uh, they are trying to you know like I'm guessing they'll try to track down Rudy after this. They said something about recruiting him. Um, Paul is trying to find Zenith. Ru uh, Rox is trying to find Zenith. Yeah, like that's what. Oh, Giz is also trying to find Zenith. Yeah, so that's what's happening. And Eris is like you know like Eris and Galena are training. So yeah, and and um, uh, Rijed is like you know trying to make his reputation good. That's the conclusion. So yeah, that was the end. Wow, fantastic! This is this is one show that I don't like. You know, I'm I'm really glad that I I actually start reacting to it. Did it? Like I've heard a lot of good things about this before. That's what I why I started to react to it. And I feel like this is just so good, like you know, like Mushiku Tensei. It's one of a kind isekai. You know, you don't get this good fleshed out isekai that much nowadays. Like this has like a whole, whole, like you know, a world building. It feels like you're in this huge world. Like you know what? Um, I feel like, um, I'm sure a lot of people have played Skyrim. You know, Elder Scrolls Five, I think. Skyrim. It feels like I'm in, like you know, I'm I'm playing a game which is like Skyrim. you know you like in this huge world with so many things happening so many kingdoms and stuff and like you know like you're going from one place to another like one kingdom has like one problem you kind of solving that going on your own adventure finding weird stuff you know in the world and just like you know adventuring this this is like a real adventure and this is so good like you know it's like it has like a solid foundation what what a, what, a, what an amazing um like, you know isekai that this is and That's just good. Like, um, if if actually, like you know, like what can I say? Like, the story is really nice as well. But I'm very much impressed by Mushoku Tensei's world building. Like, that's one thing that a lot of not a lot, but you don't see it in a lot of animes. Uh, and this is something very rare. And this is what this show does so well. Just like you know, the world building. And I feel like more isekais should like you know try to focus on this the world building the characters are important obviously but if you have a world this vast and this amazing it feels it feels amazing actually like you know seeing the characters um you know do stuff within it and uh, yeah like I feel like Mushoku Tensei like I'm sure it will get a further like you know season three this is immensely popular now I'm glad that it is because it will probably make season two come quicker hopefully. um so i really hope they actually you know fully adapt this i know the light novel has ended and i think like the light novel has like 25 or something volumes and i'm not sure which volume this is currently it will probably be in volume 5 or volume 6 i'm guessing because usually you know um a 24 episode anime kind of does that a 24 episode anime kind of has like four or five volumes adapted within it and for other animes that i've seen you know 
So I'm guessing we're probably along, like, you know, somewhere near volume five or volume six. So there is still a lot that can be done with this a lot adaptation. So I'm guessing like if you try to completely adapt this anime, uh, this light novel, you'll probably get like 120 episodes or something, something like that. Not 120. That's a bit big, like a lot, like, you know, huge. Four. No, yeah, it, it'll be kind of like that 110 or 120 episodes or something like that. It'll be uh, if you I, I think if you try to properly adapt this whole light novel and I really hope they do that. They actually make a full anime out of the light novel. I really hope that they do that. I, you know, like how many years it takes three years, four years. I, I really wish they complete this and I'll be waiting for season two. So yeah that was it guys so that was the final episode of this part um fantastic i'll be really waiting for season two hopefully it comes quicker so that's it guys thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to mushiku tensei uh, part two <laughs> not season two part two episode number um 12 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so obviously this will be replaced by another anime from next week onwards probably not from next week because then new animes won't start from next week um i'll like you know inform you guys what i'm going to start in the next season probably in a community post or i'll make a video on it i'll think about that so yeah i still have not actually like you know i, I have like you know I'll, i have kind of decided which animes i'll do but i'm not sure on it so i'll wait a little bit you know see how everything goes and and then i'll like you know inform everyone like what new animes i'm going to start from january so yeah anyways so see you guys in the next video until then goodbye and have a nice day